Yes, <coughs> welcome back. Let's uh, continue. Just keep uh, my camcorder here because <coughs> I will just go to bed. This is uh, 14 pages, so this is a little bit longer. So I will uh, go <coughs> go to my bed. So let's try uh, read this and uh, seven and eight. I have the seven. I have the seven. Uh, yes, that's the eight, nine. I not have the seven, but I download uh, later. G four six series. G four six series. G four six logo. Release e date April 14, 2004. Codename NV4 Architecture Curie, Microarchitecture, Models GeForce and Force Series, GeForce SC Series, GeForce Le Series, GeForce XT Series, GeForce GT Series, GeForce GS Series, GeForce GT Series, GeForce Ultra Series. G Force Ultra Extreme Series. Card Central Level 61006150620065006600 Mid Range 66006700 High End 6800 Enthusiast 6800 Ultra Forward Slash Ultra Extreme Ear Pie Support. The G46 Series. Codename NV40 is NVIDIA's sixth generation of GeForce graphic processing units. Launched on April 14, 2004, the GeForce 6 family introduced pure video post processing for video, SLI technology, and shader model 3.0 support, compliant with Microsoft DirectX 9.0C specification and Openable 2.0. .G46 series features SLI The scalable link interface SLI allows two G46 cards of same type to be connected in tandem The driver software balances the workload between the cards SLI capability is limited to select members of the G46 family 6500 and above SLI licensely available for cards utilizing the PCI Express Bus. NVIDIA Pure Video Technology NVIDIA Pure Video Technology is the combination of a dedicated video processing core and software which decodes H.264, VC1 WMV, and MBEG2 videos with reduced CPU utilization. Shader Model 3.0 NVIDIA was the first to deliver Shader Model 3.0, SM3, capability in its GPUs. SM3 extends SM2 in a number of ways, standard FP32, 32-bit floating point, precision, dynamic branching increased efficiency and longer shader lengths are the main additions. Shader Model 3.0 was quickly adopted by game developers because it was quite simple to convert existing shaders coded with SM2.0 forward slash 2.0 forward slash 2.0 B to version 3.0, and it offered noticeable performance improvements across the entire GE46 line. Caveats. Pure video functionality varies by model with some models lacking WMV9 and forward slash or H.264 acceleration.1 Direct 3D Direct 3D 9.0 C Shader Model 3.0 Openglo Pengal 2.1 History Predecessor GeForce 5 Series Successor GeForce 7 Series Support Status Unsupported G4 6600 GTA GP in addition, motherboards with some VIA and SIS chipsets and an AMD Athlon XP processor seemingly have compatibility problems with the G4 6600 and 6800 GPUs. Problems that have been known to arise are freezing, artifacts, reboots, 
and other issues start to make gaming and use of 3D applications almost impossible. These problems seem to happen only on direct 3D based applications and do not affect OpenGL.4 6 series comparison. NVIDIA NV40 NVIDIA NV45 GPU Here is how the released versions of the GE46 series family compare to NVIDIA's previous flagship GPU, the GE Force FX5950 Ultra, in addition to the comparable units of ATI's newly released for the time Radeon X800 and X850 series. GeForce FX 5950 Ultra GeForce 6200 TC 32 GeForce 6600 H4 6800 Ultra ATI Radeon X800 XTPT Radeon X850 XTP e-tron sister count 135,077,146,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,222,
Nvidia added support for the PCI Express, PCIe, bus in later GE46 products, usually by use of an AGP PC bridge chip. In the case of the 6800 GT and 6800 Ultra, NVIDIA developed a variant of the NV40 chip called the NV45. The NV45 shares the same die core as the NV40, but embeds an AGP PC bridge on the chip's package. Internally, the NV45 is an AGP NV40 with added EBUS translation logic to permit interfacing with a PCIe motherboard. Externally, the NV45 is a single package with two separate silicon dies clearly visible on the top. NV48 is a version of NV45 which supports 512 MeB RAM. The use of an AGP PC bridge chip initially led to fears that natively AGP GPUs would not be able to take advantage of the additional bandwidth offered by PCIe and would therefore be at a disadvantage relative to native PCIe chips. However, Benchmarking reveals that even AGP4 is fast enough that most contemporary games do not improve significantly in performance when switched to AGP8, rendering further bandwidth increase provided by PCIe largely superfluous. Additionally, NVIDIA's onboard implementations of AGP are clocked at AGP12 or 16 providing bandwidth comparable to PCIe for through rear situations when this bandwidth is actually necessary. The use of a bridge chip allowed NVIDIA to release a full complement of PCIe graphics cards without having to redesign them for the PCIe interface. Later, when NVIDIA's GPUs were designed to use PCIe natively, the bidirectional bridge chip allowed them to be used in AGP cards. ATI, initially a critic of the bridge chip, eventually designed a similar solution, known as Rialto, 2, for their own cards. Nvidia's professional Quadro line contains members drawn from the 6800 series, Quadro FX4000, AGP, and the Quadro FX3400, 4400, and 4400G, both PCI Express. The 6800 series was also incorporated into laptops with the GeForce Go 6800 and Go 6800 Ultra GPUs. Pure Video and the AGP GeForce 6800. Pure Video expanded the level of multimedia video support from decoding of MPEG 2 video to decoding of more advanced codecs, MPEG 4, WMV9. Enhanced post-processing, advanced de-interlacing, and limited acceleration for encoding. But perhaps ironically, the first GeForce product, S, to offer pure video the AGP GeForce 6800 forward slash GT forward slash ultra, failed to support all of pure video's advertised features. Media player software, WMP9 with support for WMV acceleration did not become available until several months after the 6800's introduction. User and web reports showed little if any difference between pure video enabled GE forces and non-pure video cards. The prolonged public silence of NVIDIA, after promising updated drivers, and test benchmarks gathered by users led the user community to conclude that WMV9 decoder component of the AGP 6800's pure video unit is either non-functional or intentionally disable. In late 2005, an update to NVIDIA's website finally confirmed what had long been suspected by the user community. WMV acceleration is not available on the AGP 6800. Of course, today's standard computers are fast enough to play WMV9 video and other sophisticated codecs like MPEG-4, H.264 or VP8 without hardware acceleration. GE46 series general features. GE46800 Personal Cinema 4, 8, 12 or 16 pixel pipeline GPU architecture. Up to 8x more shading performance compared to the previous generation. 
City FX 3.0 engine, DirectX 9 shader model 3.0 support, on chip video processor, pure video, form back 2 encoding and decoding at GPU level, pure video, advanced adaptive de interlacing, pure video. DDR and GDDR3 memory on a 256-bit wide memory interface. Ultra Shadow 2 technology, 3x to 4x faster than NV35, GeForce FX 5900. High precision dynamic range, HPDR technology. 128-bit studio precision through the entire pipeline, floating point 32-bit color precision. IntelliSample 4.0 technology, 16x anisotropic filtering, rotating grid anti-aliasing and transparency anti-aliasing, see here. Maximum display resolution of 2048x1536 at 85Hz. Video scaling and filtering, HQ filtering techniques up to HDTV resolutions. Integrated TV encoder, TV output up to 1024x768 resolutions. OpenGL 2.0 optimizations and support. DVC 3.0, digital vibrance control. Dual 400MHz IMD ACs which support QXGA displays up to 2048x1536 at 85Hz. Dual DVI outputs on select members, implementation depends on the card manufacturer. 6800 chipset table. Board name core type core, megahertz, memory, megahertz. Pipeline Config Vertex Processors Memory Interface 6800 Ultra NV44 forward slash NV45 forward slash NV48400110016625 6 bit 6800 GT NV44 forward slash NV45 forward slash NV48350100016625 6 bit 6800 GS SNV40 forward slash NV42350 forward slash 42510012525 bit 6800 done 40 forward slash NV45350900125256 bit 6800NV40 forward slash NV41 NV42325700 forward slash 6001252 Five six bit six thousand eight hundred go NV four one M three zero zero six zero zero one two five two five six bit six eight zero zero Gul Trans forty one M zero dot thirteen U forward slash NV forty two M zero dot eleven U four five zero one one zero zero one two five two five six bit six thousand eight hundred xt nv forty forward slash nv forty one forward slash nv four two three two five forward slash three fifty forward slash 700 forward slash 1000 plus 84128 forward slash 256 bit 6800 zen 40275 forward slash 300 forward slash 325533 forward slash 7008 bit 6800 length 4030070842526 bit notes the limited supply GE4 6800 Ultra Extreme Edition 3 was shipped with a 450 MHz core clock and, usually, a 1200 MHz memory clock, 4, but was otherwise identical to a common 6800 Ultra. The GE4 6800 GS is cheaper to manufacture and has a lower MSRP than the GE4 6800 GT because it has fewer pipelines and is fabricated on a smaller process, 110 VS 130 NM, but performance is similar because it has a faster core clock. The AGP version however, 
uses the original NV40 chip and 6800 GT circuit board and the inactive Pixel and Vertex pipelines may potentially be unlockable. However, the PCI Express version lacks steam engine.